Howdy folks, welcome back to Let's Play EG. Uh, here, we're, here we are at Sector 7, uh, Interception. In the last episode we found Dan uh, with a leg injury that was so bad he couldn't talk on speakers. Um, this time we're going to go check out the Kamado ship, uh, disrupt the Phantom Hammer, and again I'm joined here with my co-android cat. Hello. Did that, did that sound alright to you? Yes, and to make sure to get off the ship before it takes off. Okay, that's probably a good idea, too. Um, and then uh, Dan there is also just reminding us that we're actually going to get to an armory before we hop onto the ship. So, oh no. I wonder if I should try doing some teching while I'm here. Just practicing some. Huh. <laughs> Ooh, that hurt. Yep. Yeah, they hurt. And they have, like, all that splash damage, too, that makes it pretty hard to... Um, get around. Can this destroy that? No. Okay. You have to kick it? No. You do, but I don't, I'm not strong enough. Okay. Okay. Sounds like you need to upgrade your uh, your kick power. Um, no. Actually, to be honest, um, there is a part coming up in this level where having a uh, high kick power would actually be quite helpful. But um, I I don't think I'll be doing it. All right, let's check out the neo weapon storage here. What do we got to say? Ain't afraid of the beasts. I hope we don't know what those are later. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna have to warn you. We're gonna know what those are later. Tuh. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, nice. There we go. I just want to get a lot of experience, that's all. Sorry, folks. Okay, well... Oh, we're so tantalizingly close to a level up. If they could only spare an experience point. I'll take more of that M uh, MPFB ammo that's used for the nuke. It's so helpful. Well, there's a couple guys right here, so... Yep. They can fight it out. Winner gets to, you know, be killed up by us. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what was that thing back, back there? Holy crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, well, there's a beast. It's like a jumping spider. Yep. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, they go down pretty quick, but uh, they're creepy. No two ways around. Rude. I mean, there was health right there, so I wasn't in too much danger, but come on. All right, I'm in a little bit of danger. I'm in, I'm, I'm, I'm in danger. <laughs> oh. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> Honestly. This is the first level that you haven't practiced before. You can't really tell I practiced the other ones. <sighs> if anything, you've seen me practice this one. I guess. This is the most amount of practice you've got done. Come on. Mm-hmm. I know. Come here. I always think of solid snake when I hear that. What? Did no, they all dodge snake. it? I need to get help. 
Okay. Oop. Takes no time to get back to things, really. Oop. I don't even know why we're coming over here. I can't break this door down. I wonder if that hurts, right? Like, she's super strong, but it's gotta hurt, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe all of her nerve endings are dead. And her yelling when she gets hurt, quote unquote hurt, is just an automatic reaction. No clue. I wonder if I could just, like, do things like. I'm in the rock in a hard place. What the heck? Don't know what just happened. Did you reflect a rocket? I assure you, not purposely. Did I, did I get rid of them all? Are they all gone, please? I can't take more of this. Okay. You're fine. I'm actually running out of ammo. We need more help. We also need more assimilation because I want more. Um, I want more ammo. Uh. Sorry, dude. That's just the way it goes, you know. <laughs> That's just how it be sometimes. That's how it be. Actually, you know what? Screw these guys. Just kick them to death. I mean. If I have the health for it, why am I not doing that? Right? Yeah, save some ammo too. Right. I don't know why I feel like I need to go in with my ammo like that. Okay. So now we've made it to the armory. And Dan's going to bother us about that. But luckily we're not too worried. We are going to get some experience here. Yes, let's get all the experience. And we'll do an assimilate and a health. That'll probably be enough. And now we collect everything. And we get advertisements. Yay. And then we get people complaining about advertisements. <laughs> that sounds that sounds about right. Yeah. Just trying to play a game, you know, stop trying to advertise. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, it just goes to show the Kamado are just like us. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Right, they are. I mean, they literally are. I mean, well, I guess liter I guess I guess they're not cuz they're like genetically engineered humans, but So, they're I was right at the beginning mm -hmm. when I said that they're human. They're they're, you know, they sound like humans. They're yep. Oh yeah, yep, everything's yes. <laughs> there you go, I was right. Yep. So this... that means I'm also right about Dan, where he's not actually our brother. <laughs> okay, that one that one you're wrong about. <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing's just deflecting all my moves. Stop it. Get some help. No, he's got enough help. <laughs> he had so much help I can't stop him. Oh wait, I need I need help. <laughs> Don't be crazy. Don't be crazy. Kick him off the edge. I can't. I don't have enough. Um, I don't have enough uh, strength. Mm. Oh no. Well, there was some health back there. If you want to grab it. I'm not worried too much because we got that extra health level up. I wonder if we could play some turret soccer here. How many times can you kick it before it explodes? Oh, it it goes until it hits something else. Hmm. Okay. I wonder. Can I hack these? Ugh. Sure. I can. Retribution. Retribution is a, a tech that uh, EG can do. Oh. <laughs> Fun fact. Maybe, um, maybe I don't retaliate actually... would be better. Retaliate? Maybe. I, I don't remember what Retribution does, actually. I just remember the name. 
you gotta do something. Alright, anyway. Let's go over here to where that turret was. <coughs> Start heading up here. Get some more health. Get some more ammo. Again, I don't I don't know if I'm gonna get the um <laughs> EG's EG's just in it. Ugh, ugh. Ugh. What? It's like a jumping spider. Yep. They're called beasts. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the supercharge in this level. I'm obviously going to try for it. But uh, it takes a lot of ammo. It takes a lot of health. It takes a lot of skill. I can only guarantee two of those three things that we can have. Aha! We can crack weapons. We knew that. We can also tech. I talked about that just earlier this episode, where if you uh, press the hacking button there, when you're about to get hit by a move, you can like reflect it. It's really good. It's just, um, you know, it, it requires like precise timing. Have you been been able to pull that off so I far? I think I did it in an earlier episode, and I Ooh. just like didn't even act. What is it. that? It's an assassin. Have we seen him before? Yep, we've seen these enemies. Uh, they're pretty rare, though. Ugh. <laughs> I just wanted to hack him to hack him. I, it, it makes the fight with them easier, but honestly, a nuke makes it easier, so that's what I use. Nukes are very nice. Mm hmm. And in this room, we can learn about the rich history of turret, of the hyper turret game. It's a lot like. Soccer. <laughs> so hopefully we can get a game in on that. Is that maybe how Dan hurt his leg? That's absolutely how soccer. how Dan hurt his leg. He's. Do you think Dan's a sportsman? Does he give you that confidence? No. Yeah, I mean either. <laughs> Got a shock splinter here. Let's see self destruct issues with annihilators. Good to know. Know thy enemy. There we go. That should be the last security door before we uh, continue. Yes, it does seem to be the case. Okay, we got some more uh, experience. Let's get that health up. We can only get one more level this area, so I don't know if I want to put that into assimilate or just more health. And I don't know how you get past this uh, this door here. Can um, you shoot it? Can I shoot it? Uh. No. Hmm. So, I I'm I'm really baffled how you're meant to get through that door. I've been I you know I've during my practice runs it's like I've tried and I have no clue. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's where the poster is located. So it's a little frustrating because I don't know how to get that anymore. So we're missing our first poster. We are. Do you know it's a, what it looks like? Um paper image on it perfect description I've got no idea what it looks like I could probably look it up and uh, put it on screen um, and if I end up figuring out later uh, before we record the next uh, sectors how to get it I will include that but um, okay just stop I hate the beast so much Oh. They jump so far. Don't mind just if I do. Just stay down there. Just stay down there. I'm going to destroy your machine, and I'm just going to use a shotgun for it. Ha 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 ha. Can I, like, fall down here? No. Okay. And that's the phantom hammer there? That's the phantom hammer. Alright, come down here and fight me, you beast. I didn't think you'd do it. But, but don't. Yeah, the absolute <laughs> madman did it. <laughs> I need health. I need to start conserving ammo, but like at the same time, you know, I need things to like die around me without me using it, and that doesn't that's just not gonna happen. No, they they don't typically just die. Alright, can I be honest? The ship sucks. We gotta get off it. <laughs> well yeah, now that we've um taken care of the hammer. We just have to take care of the leader now, right? Yeah. What is that? Sentinels. 
Why be bringing a bunch of sentinels here? General Tor is pretty serious about this kill the Tazen as fast as possible business. Sure, they're more powerful than Annihilators can throw freely and hail uh, MPFB, Plasma, and Nukes all around. Do we like... Nope, can't destroy him. Well, we tried. Alright. Oof. I wonder if there's a way to get up there. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop trying. This this episode's gonna be pretty long, so I gotta... Just keep moving forward. Yeah, I gotta stop messing with things, because, like... Uh... I, like, I could go fight this 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 person up here, but why? Why? We, there has to be someone left to tell the tale. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that it'll be that one dude. Oh, Dan, it's me. Fantastic! It's you. <laughs> I told you, it's me. Wow! I can't believe it's you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So what did what did we just talk about? I'm not sure. I think we just really just talked about how hey, like we did it. Okay. How do I? Okay, so we got a lot of. Uh... Ooh, this will take care of uh, our problem for us. No. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have kicked the door. Hey everybody, I want to introduce you to my new pet. Yeah. Had to do it to him. Okay. Phew. Hmm. I want to explore a little bit here. There's like windows here. That's kind of cool. Just those small details in the background I really like. Oh boy. You forgot about the brother. I did. Again, I keep killing these things and I don't need to kill them. There we go. Got some goodies. Another dead end. Another ribbon somehow. EG, it's me. How are you doing? You've been fighting for a long time without food or sleep. Oh, actually, I haven't noticed. I've been thinking of Mia and you, and it just keeps me going. Mia. Yeah, you know, I could always rely on her. When Mom left... Mom left? What? <laughs> and I had to take her place, Mia still looked up to me. I don't know why you and me were never closer, but... It's because I live in a, in a you know, security room. I live in a closet. Dan? You're not angry, right? No, no, don't worry. We were only kids. But aren't we still kids? How old are we? I actually don't know how old we are supposed to be, to be honest. I don't know. Nice little touching moment there between the two. Um, Alright, we have an extra point. What do we put it into? Kick. It's gotta be health. Kick's not gonna help us. <laughs> well, the problem with kick, uh, uh, to be honest, on why it's not going to help us, is because uh, for kick to help... It would need to be level six. That's level four. Oh. So yeah. we have to dedicate like two level ups for it, and it, it just doesn't seem like a great option. All right, what do we got down here? Maybe a little bit of this. Ooh. This is a Actually, boy. I have a better idea. How about I just don't? Just move through. Power through it. Ah, <laughs> uh, things are happening around me. <laughs> Passive weapons research. Nice. Oh, this goes here. I don't know why we do that. Can we, like, backtrack? No, we can't even backtrack, so... I don't know what the... The purpose of that might be. That's honestly quite strange to me. Oh, I no. guess if you wanted to, like, go back and, like, look for ammo, but... Oh, maybe. So are we just booking it to the end? We're booking it. We have all the experience we need. Uh. Uh. Channel 12 open, transmit identification down to. 
What? Channel 12, open transmit identification down one. Oh, my name's EG and... Identification failed, terminating. Dang it. Oh boy. Well, this yep. music just got a lot more intense. Yep, so this thing's pretty tough. Um, and you get your, uh, your supercharge mm -hmm. by, uh, defeating it the hard way. Which is? With weapons. As opposed to? Um, more creative solutions. Like, having it shoot itself? No, you'll notice that there's, like, these terminals everywhere. Mm -hmm. We could be using those, but we're not. So this is going to be a bit of a problem here. But we're going to get a lot of free damage in. Are we taking damage every time we do that? No. But it, it when it does that, it's charging a nuke. Ah. Just so you know. And we can't really take too many of those. Uh, As you might imagine, I mean, like, it's not crazy to think we can't take too many nukes. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so run, run away. Well, we can't, we can't, we're gonna take damage no matter what. But the best we can hope for is to like, deal a lot of damage to it. I suppose. And so this might be it. Um, completely unsuccessful. Oh, I don't have enough ammo. Are you out of ammo? I'm out of a lot of ammo. Ooh. If you just get... No, because it's got another bar of health. Oh. So, Shoot. it is possible to do. But it's very difficult. So I want to do this battle the the easier way now. It's still hard. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah. They're telling you if you if you got it wrong, it's that you need to use those. So now you'll see that this like electrical field is um new. Right. Why would they put that in there? Well, what you're doing is you're activating them from these. Ah. And now what we can do is we can bait uh, the Sentinel into going into those and dealing a lot of damage. But will it damage us too? No, we're good. Stop that. Oh, so you just kick it in there. Oh yeah, sure. Hey, you want to do that again? Oof. That hurt. Rude. Okay, so we're already down like a bar of health. There you go. That's pretty good. Yeah, you can you can knock it in that way too. So close. Yep. Right. Too easy. Oh, nice. Alright. And I definitely want to be at full health when we defeat the boss. Not because there's any reason to do that. But you do get a little bit of a bonus if you're at full health. There we go. Nice. So nice. at least I did that. At least I got something like that. Yeah, so you get this message from EG. <laughs> it looked pretty dangerous, though. Was, <laughs> Was that supposed, supposed to be, be tough? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Oy vey. Okay, so that wasn't nearly as long of a uh, sector as I thought it was going to be. Didn't get the poster. Um, if I manage to get the poster, I'll, I'll edit it in post. Okay. Poster in post. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. You know what? Jokes don't always land. No. That's, that's all right. That's all right. But next time we're going to deal with the consequences of our actions of uh, probably really upsetting the Kamado by destroying their main weapon. Uh, probably. Probably getting a hit pretty hard in the face. So join us next time for Sector 8. We're getting real close to the end of the game, folks. It's within reach. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.